friends and welcome to another episode of Momo Makes. I'm your girl Momo. I do DIYs, upcycles and sewing projects. Today we're going to be making a floating max bra from Stranger Things. It is the hottest Halloween decoration this year. You must have seen this family's full-size floating max outside their house that brought the police to the yard. So today we're going to be making a smaller scaled down version of the max doll and it's going to be very easy for you to just hang it outside and I guarantee you your neighbors are not going to call the police for this one. But it's a ton of fun. It's very easy to make. You can actually use a doll for this one but I tried my level best to find a bigger size doll like an American Girl doll on many of my free cycle groups but I could not find one so I had to make one and I will show you step by step how I did that. So hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications and let's get started. <laughs> For this project, you're going to need two teal felt sheets for the jacket, two brown felt sheets for the shoes, we need brown craft floss for Max's hair, yellow ribbon, and muslin cotton half yard for making the body, and I'm going to use a pair of uh, old jeans to make the jeans for her. First thing first, we're going to make the body. You need half a yard of muslin fabric for this. So roughly I'm going to draw out the body of a doll. I'm looking at my mood board for the posture. She has her arms to the side. Her legs are kind of bowed and joined at the feet. And uh, that's the kind of uh, shape I'm drawing. I'm gonna cut this muslin outline of the doll out. This is what the doll looks like. I think it looks pretty good. For the head, I'm going to make a rough estimate of how large the circle should be. And I'm gonna cut out four semicircle pieces, which I'm going to join like a ball and it's going to give me a 3D shape of a head. So moving on to the sewing machine, I'm gonna start sewing the outline for the body of the doll. If you have the time, you can definitely turn it inside out. But since most of the doll is gonna be covered by the clothes anyway, and this is a prop that's gonna be outside, so nobody's gonna see the detail up close. So I'm not even bothering to turn the doll body inside out. I'm just using a very short stitch on my sewing machine to make it really tight. The stitches don't come undone and I'm just going to leave it as is and just stuff my stuffing inside. To stuff the doll, I'm using an old pillow that had some poly stuffing. If you don't have poly stuffing, don't worry about it. You could use scraps. If you don't even have fabric scraps, you could use cotton balls. If you don't have that, you could just stuff it with paper. Honestly, it really doesn't matter. Just want to make sure that this is light because we're going to be hanging it up so it doesn't have to be very heavy. And that's the only consideration that we need here. I'm going to construct the 3D shape of the head now. I'm going to join all the petal shaped pieces together. That's going to give me this uh, round ball shape. This I turned inside out because you're going to be able to see it. So I want the face to be neat. I am going to attach it to the body of the doll by hand stitching. 
uh, nothing fancy here. I'm gonna close up the doll and attach the head. Next, I'm gonna be making the hair of the doll. For this, I'm using the craft floss. Luckily, I found the craft floss in exactly the brown ginger hair color. And this turned out so good. So I'm just separating and aligning the strands in the shape of a hair and then combining it together. And I'm gonna use the hot glue gun and attach it to the head. It doesn't have to be exact because I'm gonna arrange the hair into a pony tail when I do the accessories. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna give uh, Max a haircut later. For the jeans, I'm using this old pair of jeans that I was going to recycle. I'm just gonna roughly measure the size of the legs of the doll and I'm gonna cut a rough shape of a pair of pants here. It doesn't have to be exact. Just take a look at how I'm doing the cutting. You need two legs. That's about it. That's what you need. Sew it so that it fits the size of the doll. If you need to trim it, by all means trim it. This is all an approximation. doll is going to be hanging the back side will be visible to the viewers down below so we're going to add the detail of the back pockets and the w of the wrangler jeans so i'm using regular white stitch to attach the pockets and i'm using the machine stitches to make a w on the back pocket then i'm going to close the sides add some detailing and turn it right side out and my little pair of jeans for my little Max are ready. I'm going to put them on to the doll's body. I think this is, this is so cute. I had to adjust the stuffing a little bit. I added some extra scraps to make the bottom a little more plump and to give it the shape that was in the picture that I was using as a reference. For the jacket, I'm using the teal felt for roughly measuring out the shape of a jacket. I'm going to cut out a large rectangle to roughly measure the size of the sleeves. This doesn't have to be exact, it's just two rectangles, three rectangles joined together. I'm going to attach the sleeves, pin them in place. You don't need to worry about making the armhole. We're not making doll holes here, we're just making a prop. So I'm just going to attach the slimmer rectangles to the main body of the jacket rectangles and then I'm going to add the ribbon detail. For this I just eyeballed the position as shown on the reference picture. So the yellow ribbon on to the arm. The main body of the jacket has white stripe on the back and the front. For this I just used a piece of muslin. I cut out a strip and attached that. Same thing goes on the front. sewing that on both sides of the front of the jacket then I'm going to close the sides of the jacket this is the jacket to finish the jacket I'm adding the yellow ribbon seam binding because she had like a yellow zipper. We're not gonna put in a zipper. We're just going to put the yellow ribbon in the front just to make it look like the front of the jacket has this accent. So I think it looks pretty good. Um, I think it's too long, so I'm just gonna cut it. It needs to be a little more cropped than that. The sleeves of this jacket are very long, so I'm gonna cut those as well.
It's time to give Max a haircut. Um, the scrunchie for this, I'm just using a piece of felt. I'm just going to roughly cut out a thin strip. Then I'm going to stitch it on my sewing machine and pull the threads to make the frilly sort of uh, shape for the scrunchie. I'm going to put that onto the hair and sew it on with a hand stitch and that will make the ponytail. Once the ponytail is in place, thin out the hair a little bit and give it the shape of her haircut to make it a little more realistic. And then I'm going to close the front of the jacket by hand stitching it and I'm stitching it down to the body so it doesn't move around because this prop is gonna be hanging outside so I don't want the wind to ruffle it. Just to add a little more detail, I'm going to draw out pattern of her t-shirt which is like a checkered pattern and a red ribbon as the binding for the t-shirt. Next I'm going to add the accessories. She's wearing headphones when she floats up. For the headphones I'm going to cut out two small circles and I'm going to stuff them with a ball of craft fluff and I stitched around the circle and pulled the threads and made half ball sort of shape for the earphones part of the headphones. For the part that goes over the head, I'm using a long scrap of denim and I'm just going to hot glue it and then hot glue both of the headphones on the sides and then glue those to the sides of the doll's head. So those will be Max's headphones. Okay, this step was very creepy to give it Max's character. I also cut out the shape of Max's face from one of pictures that I had used on the mood board and I stuck it to the face of the dog to make it that spooky Vecna possessed feeling. Next, I'm going to be making the sneakers that Max was wearing. Those were brown Nikes. I believe they were Air Jordans. I'm no expert on sneakers, <laughs> so I don't know what kind of sneakers they were. Brown Nike sneakers, that I know. So for this, I'm using roughly the size of a foot. I'm cutting out oval bean shape, and I'm going to measure a piece of uh, felt that should go around it. I'm going to glue it down. This is the shape of the sneakers. I'm using some red ribbon that I had lying around to cut the Nike swoosh shape and I'm just gonna glue it on. The sneakers need some structure so again I'm adding some stuffing inside from the scraps to give it the shape of a foot and I am going to hot glue these to the end of Max's legs giving the sneakers a trim, any excess glue, any excess fabric that's hanging around. Just give it a neat shape. The Max floating doll prop is ready. I think from the back it looks exactly like Max. I hung it from the tree outside the house with a piece of twine. If you're really specific about making it invisible, then you can use fishing wire. Just make sure that you have a vertical hanging wire and then you also need 
wires that go across and support the body from the side so there is no motion if there is a wrap. I hope you have a ton of fun making this prop just like I did. Hang it outside, enjoy your Halloween, tag me in your post, I would love to see your floating max. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I post videos pretty much every week. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. I have a feeling you're going to like this one next. Please do check it out. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.